Jury that convicted Marco Perez yesterday of capital murder and the shooting death of Mobile police officer Sean Tudor now has to decide whether he lives or dies. Fox News Brendan Kirby is live at Government Plaza where that jury, as far as we know, Brendan, is still deliberating. Do we know how much longer they are going to do that? Well, we have no idea on juries, Byron. We do know that this has been a, a very long ordeal, especially when you consider that it's been more than five years now since this murder took place. And it was all the way back in the first week of January that they started jury selection here. Now, today, the defense got its chance to try to persuade the jury that Marco Antonio Perez deserves to live. The defendant has shown little emotion throughout the trial, except when his mother testified during the guilt phase of the trial. On that day, he bolted toward the front of the courtroom. He was emotional again today, although much more subdued. He wept silently when his mother, Tiffany, and his little sister took the stand. Prosecutor Ashley Rich made note of that during her closing arguments. She asked where his remorse was for the victim. The prosecution and the defense also put on dueling expert witnesses. Psychiatrist Dr. Stephen Zeman Jr. testified that the brain is not fully developed until about age 25. Perez was 19 at the time of the shooting. The prosecution countered with its expert witness, Dr. Jessica Kirk, who testified that higher level thinking starts in the mid-teenage years. Mobile County Assistant District Attorney Madison Davis argued to jurors that this whole case is about the selflessness of Officer Tudor versus the selfishness of Perez. Defense Attorney Ashley Cameron told jurors that her client has ADHD and would be one of the youngest people on death row. Now, the jury has been deliberating for about an hour and a half, and we will make sure to tell you as soon as we can what that verdict is. Byron? Well, Brendan, we understand that decision, whether it's for life without parole or death, does not have to be unanimous among the jurors, right? That's correct. It takes at least 10 votes to impose the death penalty and at least seven for life in prison without possibility of parole. But before we even get to that point, the jury first must find beyond a reasonable doubt unanimously that the state has proved at least one aggravating factor. In this case, that would be that Perez killed Officer Tudor in order to, in effect, an escape or to avoid an arrest. Reporting live from Government Plaza, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.